Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back for app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash Course we will start talking about one of Parse's most powerful resources which is called Cloud Code Functions. A Cloud Code Function is essentially Node.js or JavaScript code that runs on back for app servers instead of the devices. Uh, this brings lots of advantages for your app such as you can have your app running on slower uh, older computers or maybe on cell phones which does not have a lot of processing power so all the processing will be done on the back for app servers which are huge servers and only the final result will be brought to the device this can save up on battery because the device won't have to process it, uh, the data itself, uh, and also can save a lot on data plans because imagine this situation, you have uh, a result which is uh, generated after processing 10,000 lines. Uh, you don't have to bring uh, with a query 10,000 objects in order to process it. You can just have the heavy load of processing be done on the server and only bring the final result to the device. So here I am on my application here on Cloud Code Functions, but I have here my code from last lesson. Uh, if you don't know how I got to this code here, you need to watch our last episode. I'll show you how to have your main JS file there. And in order to define a new function, I can just copy and paste this one here. And we start by parse cloud define is how we define a cloud code function and then give it a name. I'm going to call this one set distance. And this will be a async function which will bring a request in order to our code so this and inside here I can start coding anything that I need so in order to set the distance I'm going to set the distance from my person class and I have my distance from company property I'm going to set it all to the same value for all the users so the first thing I have to do is have a query for all those users so const query equals new parse.query and I'm going to query for the person class and then we'll have a result array so const result equals await because this is a asynchronous call to query.find now I'll have the, all the persons inside the result array so I have to loop through that array so for let i equal 0, i is smaller than result dot length i plus plus and here I can uh, start setting my value so I'm going to set the value for result index i dot set and my property will be distance from company and we'll set it to 50 for everyone and for everyone we'll have to save that so await result index i dot save and as for last lesson I can just come here and type before a deploy it will upload my code back to back for app When it's done, I can come here to my Safari and Cloud Code Functions and if I click my main.js file, you'll see my code is already here. But if I click the Cloud folder here, you'll see it gives me a curl comment of how I should call that function. I'm going to copy this and back to my editor, I'm going to paste, I have to remove this starts from the beginning and here at the end is how 
uh, I call the function, I have to call the function name. So I'm going to go here. My function is called set distance. I'm going to paste it there, copy it. And if I go back to my console and run it, now it has run. I, I, it didn't bring me any result because I didn't put any return there. But if I go back to my Safari and database browser and person class, you'll see all my persons have the distance from company being as 50. So this is how I set up a new value for for a property in a class uh, using uh, cloud code but this is much more powerful we'll dig deeper into cloud code on the next episodes so i hope you like this one and hope to see you on the next one see you soon bye bye